everyone, today's reading is his current thoughts, intentions and likely um, actions. <laughs> I always want to say outcomes, I don't know why. Anyway, guys, I hope you are really well. If you are new to the ch channel, then welcome. If you are returning, equally welcome and thank you for returning. Um, guys, it's a pick a card. Don't forget, I would highly recommend, as I do when I watch pick a card readings, assign more than one question to the group so that you can make use of all four groups. Um, I really think it's a great idea, um, so feel free to do that if you feel so inclined. If you'd like a private reading with me, it's good value and quick, I like to think. Um, <laughs> check the link in the description box below. You can also check out the testimonials on the website as well if you are unsure about having a reading. But anyway, um, let's get on with today's um, reading. Hope you enjoy it. Please like, please comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Here we go. Right, so his current thoughts, intentions and likely actions. We've got the two of coins, the nine of wands, the king of coins and the world. You know, his intentions, his thoughts and intentions are good. Um, ultimately, he's heading in the right direction and it is heading in the right direction. But the two of coins says at the minute he is feeling quite stressed out and overwhelmed. It's totally possible that it's actually not to do with you specifically. Uh, the two of coins indicates a kind of juggling lots of different things, being busy, having a lot going on, rushing around, just being kind of weighed down by life. This makes sense with the nine of wands as well. The Nine of Wands is a card of feeling like it's all getting a bit much. It could be this sense of really struggling along, everything kind of getting on top of you, things being kind of difficult, you know, and it's a sense of feeling like you're miles away from getting where you want to be. However, the Nine of Wands is the nine on the journey from one to ten. So actually, he's not as far away from where he wants to be as he thinks he is and there is a suggestion with this card of just keep going don't give up but he's got a lot going on i don't think he's giving up his thoughts and intentions are yes it's stressing me out yes i'm juggling more than one person more than one situation or you know i've got a lot on my plate but i don't intend on giving up i do want to resolve this situation but the reality is he does feel overwhelmed. This makes complete sense if, because a few of you, it's because of a triangle, a love triangle, because the two of coins can indicate like juggling more than one relationship in a relationship reading. Um, if that's the case, this would explain why he's stressed out because he's coming through as the king of coins. The king of coins is really committed and loyal and is not like a wild out there kind of character in general. You know, this is someone who's dependable and loyal. So if he finds himself in a situation where he's kind of in a triangle situation, this would really stress out the king of coins more than, you know, another um, king of another suit because, you know, he's so kind of down to earth and so dependable that he will feel the guilt and the stress even more, you know. But the point is that he's coming through as in terms of his intentions to, towards you and what he's told you and what's going on, he's, you know, obviously this is a general reading. So it's not going to be the case for the mo for every single person. So always listen to your intuition, particularly when you're watching general readings. However, I would say that for the majority of you, this person is being honest with you, is being genuine. You know, um, this person is kind of straightforward. Because of that, they may be kind of slow moving and they maybe don't adapt to change as well as maybe other suits would. So hence him feeling really weighed down and overwhelmed. But the point is he is moving to the next level. He is looking to take that journey, whatever it is. It could be a trip with you, a physical trip. It could be moving away from his current situation. The world can be a metaphorical trip or a literal trip. So it can be about travel. But it's also about journeying to the next level. It's the end of the fool's journey. It's a card of success, having made it, having gotten to the next level, to the next point, and being able to take some, um, make some choices about where you want to go next, what you want to do. It's a real, it's the best card in the deck. So in terms of what he's intending on doing, what action he's intending on taking, he is intending on going to the next level. And he is coming through as genuine, as honest, as being um, 
genuine in what he's told you and said to you. Um, but that said, because of his nature, he is struggling to follow through on it. His thoughts are very overwhelmed. His feelings are very overwhelmed. He feels stressed out. He feels weighed down. But he's not as far away from completion as he thinks he is. So this is, on the whole, very, very positive. Thank you so much, number ones. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. I will see you on the next reading in a couple of days or a private reading in the meantime. See you later, guys. Hi, group two. How are you doing? I hope you're fantastic. So, his current thoughts, intentions, and likely actions. We've got the Nine of Cups, Four of Coins, King of Wands, and the Fountain. Okay, so he, his current thoughts are kind of around these first two cards. His current thoughts are good. You know, his current thoughts are that he's getting a lot of pleasure from this situation, or when he thinks about you, or what's going on with you, there's a lot of positivity, there's a lot of pleasure, there's a lot of happiness, there's a lot of um, uh, sense that this is the right thing for him. He feels like it's, it is either fulfilling him or the idea of what it can be is fulfilling him. So it's definitely moving in the right direction for him. It's like it gives him a great sense of pleasure, joy, happiness, fulfillment. But it's interesting because even though that is the case, the, the Four of Coins is also very much that energy. But the Four of Coins also brings with it an element of fear of loss. Okay? So that's just something to bear in mind. Because this will explain the action part at the end, which we'll get to. The Four of Coins is saying that, you know, there's a sense of stability and security here. He, or you, or both of you, um, have worked to get to a position where he feels and thinks that he's in a secure place so he feels pretty secure he feels like this is a good situation for him he feels like he's gotten where he wants to be to an extent in the situation with you so it's paying off for him it's good for him this situation but if you're having any issues with him investing in the situation investing in the relationship with you moving towards you um, this could be because of the other side of the four, four of Coins. In many regards, the Four of Coins is a positive card. It's a positive energy. Um, because it is of stability. It is of having created enough. You know, and there's a sense of having what you need. But the problem with the Four of Coins is because of a, an awareness of what it's like to be without. And maybe what it took to get to a point where you have what you need. So, for example, if he's had a past trauma or a past bad relationship and he's now in a place where he feels strong and confident and he's kind of connected with himself again, there could be a fear of, like, letting down a barrier or investing in a situation for fear of losing himself in the situation and maybe ending up back at square one, so to speak. So, with the four coins, it's like he has a sense of abundance, but it comes with it a sense of lack because it comes with it of an awareness of how he could lose the sort of place that he has or the advantage or the abundance that he has. And he's afraid of the loss. You know, the lack, the four of coins nearly always comes with a bit of a sense of lack. So, I mean, not for everyone. Some of you will say, well, no, that's not him. And that's fine because the other cards are really quite positive. So it's not going to be the case for everyone. But I do think if there's stalling or there's issue... It's out of a fear of not wanting to lose his position, okay? The King of Wands is saying that his, his current intentions and thoughts, he's kind of business-like, you know, he's, he, but he's also very um, connected with his passion and his heart and soul. Now, for some of you, he could be having a business-like attitude to the relationship. The King of Wands also represents the divine masculine of the minor arcana is the pure masculine fire so there is the very likelihood that there's a strong sense of passion or connection between you guys but there's also a sense with the king of wands of a business-like attitude a bit of a delegator attitude rather than a creative attitude and in this case intuitively i feel like because of these four coins there could be an element of him kind of being a bit cautious or a bit standoffish about moving towards you. And this kind of is echoed with the Fountain card. The Fountain card comes after the world in the Fountain Tarot deck, and it is a card that represents, like, 
isness, stillness, beingness. But in my readings of late, it's becoming intuitively more and more to mean like doing nothing. It's literally stillness. <laughs> um, and I think that if there are any, if you're having issues about moving forwards, it could be difficult to understand as to why, because he seems really happy, he seems really into the situation, or he seems, you know, connected, you feel the connection. He's kind of confident and powerful in a regard with this, as this king of wands, and he seems to be okay with the, with the vibe with you, so like, what's the problem? I think it's a fear of loss, it's a hidden fear of loss. So if there are any issues about moving forwards, it's that, um, most likely, you know, a hidden fear of loss, but it's not because he doesn't think positively of you. His intentions are good. His intentions are to, um, you know, move towards you, I do think, but it's kind of depends on how confident he can be about the situation because quite a lot of the, a, a lot of you have a person here who is unwilling to give up their balance in order to move forward. So if they feel like there's instability or a likelihood of it going wrong, so to speak, I think he's less likely to move forward at this time until he feels it's secure. Loves of love group two, I will see you on the next reading in a few days or on a private reading. In the meantime, please subscribe and hit the bell. Hi group three, so his current thoughts, intentions and likely actions. We've got the knight of wands, the five of coins, the queen of coins, the five of swords. Okay, so this is him, the Knight of Wands. This is you, the Queen of Coins. Doesn't matter whether you're male or female. It's just because the majority of people who watch my reading are um, heterosexual women, the, the you and them tends to come up as the male is the you, uh, is the them, and the female is the you. But if you are same-sex couple, that's absolutely great, and you just, you know, just... Mm, you know, work it out from, you know, it doesn't matter is basically what I'm trying to say. Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, I've got a bit of a cold as you can hear from my voice. Maybe that's why I'm struggling to work out what I'm saying. But the point is, it doesn't matter whether you're male or female or they're male or female. This is them, this is you. That was clearer, wasn't it? Anyway. <laughs> The point is, straight away you can see there's an imbalance here because the Knight of Wands is a knight and you are the queen. So he is not feeling this king energy. He's feeling, yes, he's kind of excited. Yes, he's feeling a passion towards you. Yes, he's feeling a connection with you. Yes, he kind of wants to be bold and take action, but he's also still feeling a bit insecure. He doesn't really know what he's doing. He still feels like you know, he's still trying to find himself, he's not completely ready, he's not completely sure, now when I say not completely ready, this could be that he's not ready to even start communicating with you if you're in non-contact, or it could be that you're together, but he's not ready to take it to the next stage, but the point is there is a definite sense of a lack going on here, we've got the five of coins and the five of swords, you are coming through as someone who is secure, stable, you're ready for a relationship, you're in a stable position, you know, obviously you're all going to be different, at different uh, stages of your own life and development, but the point is, for the stage of life that you're at, you're in a good position, you know, to take on the relationship, and you not only are ready for it, he sees you as a long-term partner possibility and potential, you know, so this is good, this is really, really good, he sees you in that way, the slight issue is that he could kind of put you on a pedestal slightly, because he sees you as being more advanced than him, and also the, the sort of readiness for commitment, and the readiness to kind of get it sort of set from your point of view, could be slightly unnerving for him, I've got to be honest and say, the Knight of Wands is, can be dubbed a bit of a love him and leave him type, he often doesn't stick around, and this makes sense with the lack energy. Now, his current thoughts are that he feels this bold passion towards you, but at the same time, he also, his thoughts and intentions are around, are around lack. So what I would say is use your common sense at this time. Listen to your intuition. I wouldn't be necessarily pushing to get this into um, a committed situation because he's come very much, his thoughts and actions are on, from a lack mentality at the minute and he needs to change his approach to things. 
Um, but he can only do that by being this night energy, by going out into the world and investigating for himself. So it's possibly not the right time for him to sort of settle. Um, but that said, the five of coins is a card of like a pilgrimage. And I do feel like he's still trying to sort himself out, figure things out. The five of coins says he does feel like his thoughts and emotions and intentions are very much that he feels lack. You know, like, I don't, I do think he wants to come towards you. He feels a sense of lack without you in his life. But then at the same time, the way he's doing things at the minute, it's not working for him. The five of swords saying that, you know, and this double lack energy with the double five, the five of coins as well and five of swords, they're really kind of this sense of lack energy. You know, the five of swords is saying that his way of going about life and love in general is not working for him. It's not giving him the results that he wants. It's not giving him the um, the things that he really desires in his life. So what can he do? He's got to go back to the drawing board, go back to square one. He's got to work out how can he feel fulfilled? How can he get the situation he wants? He needs to go within, have that conversation with himself there's a way he's been going about things with you, with life, in the situation, and it's not working. He sees you as somebody who he could really be with. He sees you as a symbol of what he could really have. But in order to have that, he's got to overcome these difficulties. It may mean that he's going to have to be on his own for a little while, or keep a bit of a distance for a while, while he works it out. But ultimately, he is going to have to take the action to move away from the situation or move away from his way of doing things that he's been, you know, peddling for a long time because it's not really getting him what he wants and it's not going to give him the long-term situation that he's looking for. But like I say, he's still very much working this out. So it is kind of early days for him. Will he actually take the action to leave that situation behind? That's what the universe is showing him through him you know, keep trying to move forwards from where he's at and it not working. Whether he will actually take that up or not is up to him and only time will tell with that. Loads of love number threes. I hope this makes sense. I will see you on the next reading in a few days or on a private reading in the meantime. See you soon, guys. Hi, group four. How are you doing? So, his current thoughts, intentions, and lightly actions. We've got the hanged man, the eight of swords, the temperance, and the six of coins. So what are his current thoughts, intentions, and lightly actions? His current thoughts are stuck because he's afraid. Okay? He is definitely 100% afraid. He's struggling to see things from a rational point of view. That's what I'm seeing with this hanged man and the eight of swords. The hanged man is saying that he can't move forward. He feels stuck. He feels like there's an inability to kind of move forward. He can see opportunities, but he can't really take advantage of them. Things feel uneven, difficult, stressful, etc. So why is he having an issue? Because he's overthinking the situation. Eight of swords. His thoughts and intentions are overthought through. You know, he's freaking himself out by being over analytical of the situation overly logical or overtly attempting to be logical about the situation you know and there's a lot of stress going on the eight of swords is like being trapped in the prison of your own mind so he's creating a load of fear and anxiety just through his sheer the sheer amount of thinking that's going on okay so the hanged man is saying that you know he needs to kind of turn things on their head, he needs to look at things in a different way, from a different point of view, um, he needs to let go of the fear, his current thoughts are irrational, fearful, and as a result, he's kind of feels, he kind of feels, um, sort of suspended in time, he's not able to move forward in the way he would like, and he feels kind of, like I say, stuck in the position that he's in, so what are his intentions and likely actions in the future? The good news is that it does look like he's going to move out of this fearful period. So in the next week or so, he's going to come into balance because we've got the temperance and the six of coins. The six of coins for me is like the temperance of the minor arcana, you know, because it... <laughs> Excuse me. It is a card of balance. It is a card of equal giving and receiving... It's a card of reciprocity. So you have this feeling towards him, this 
energy towards him and at the minute it's not reciprocated or it's not felt in the same way he's kind of coming from an angst point of view but in the future you can see things kind of coming into balance and he will be more on a level with you so what you can do is make sure that you are in the high vibe state that you are resonating at the best level that you can potentially be because he is going to be reciprocating that energy in the future you know in the near future what I would say is if you've had a difficult time, it does look po possible because he's going through something, some sort of internal angst. What they're saying here is that the calm after the storm is coming. Things are going to improve. I don't think he's likely to take any action, if I'm honest, because the six of coins and the temperance is kind of this together based on this as well. It's like things even out. And what I would expect is maybe in the next few weeks, the going on from these two cards, more action. But, you know, there's been a lot of angst and a feeling of being stuck. Then we get this sort of period where things seem to even out. The emotions and the flow starts to come back in. And there's a sense of reciprocity between the two of you guys. A sense of uh, calm and, and, and more balance and more evenness. And out of that tranquil balance, something more positive and more active could be, can be built. You know what I mean? But I do think it's a fairly tranquil energy in terms of action. So I think any action that does happen will be pretty low key. I think it's unlikely to see you're unlikely to see any big dramatic changes. But what you will notice is this sense of feeling stuck and full of angst should die away, should so, uh, largely dissipate over the next few weeks. So I hope this makes sense. Loads of love to you guys. I hope you have an amazing day. Don't forget, if you want a reading, please check the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. I will see you guys on the next reading, which is in a few days, or on a private reading. In the meantime, loads of love, and I will see you soon.